as is often the case, we're given a function here, w of t, but we're only given its value for select points in time. There's no symbolic representation of the function. We are told, however, that it is twice differentiable and strictly increasing. That will prove useful a little later. What's really useful for this problem is simply a strong understanding of the fundamental theorem of calculus. So I've included that diagram that should be familiar to those of you that have watched these videos in the past. And with that, we'll jump into part A. So we have a request to calculate approximately w prime of 12. And of course it's kind of them to ask for only an approximation because we have no direct information about w prime. But we can estimate what the average rate of change over the interval that includes t equals 12 is. And so we'll use data from t equals 9 and t equals 15 to calculate that average rate of change and use that as an approximation for w prime of 12. So we'll just write, we can, can be approximated. by the average rate of change of W over the interval that has 12 as its midpoint. namely t from 9 to 12, uh, from 9 to 15, rather. So I have 67.9 minus 61.8 over 15 minus 9 equals uh, 6.1 over 6 which is approximately equal to a 1.1 1 .0116. I'm sorry, 1.0166. 1 Again, this is a calculator question, so we can use our calculator to do this calculation. And we should include units. Um, and this just tells us the rate of change of uh, the temperature in degrees Fahrenheit per minute. Um, so let's write just a little bit more of that. Um, this is the rate of change of the temperature at t equals 12. Okay, that should be satisfactory. Part B asks us to evaluate and interpret 0 to 20 w prime of t dt. Well, here's where the fundamental theorem is very important because they're asking us to find the integral of this function. Because it's a definite integral, the integral of this function is simply the difference between the values of this function at the two endpoints in question. And so we'll write that as w of 20 minus w of 0 and that's going to be 71 minus 55 
which is 16 degrees Fahrenheit. And what does that represent? That just represents the change in temperature from T equals 0 to T equals 20. Part C. They tell us the average water temperature of the water in the tub is given by this expression. And ask us to approximate it using left Riemann sums. So. Left Riemann sum means, they asked for four left Riemann sums using the data that we have. So this will be our first rectangle. It's a width of four, and we use the leftmost height for the height of our rectangle. So I'll write four times 55.0. Now I add the area of the next rectangle. Again, I say area, but we're talking about the signed area. But in this case, all of the signed areas come out positive, so there's really no distinction. Here the width is between 4 and 9, so that's 5, and we again use the leftmost side. So 5 times 57.1 plus, now the width is 6. We again use the leftmost, the temperature at the leftmost point, 61.8. And finally, a width of 5 and the leftmost temperature of 67.9. We're taking 1 20th of this entire value. And we do have a calculator, so we can just handle that computation off to the side, and we get 60.79. And let's give it proper units. That's the average temperature. The average temperature of the water over during the interval. From zero. Things change a little bit in Part D. Remember, we were given uh, specific values of the water temperature during the interval from 0 to 20 minutes. Now we're being given an explicit symbolic representation of the derivative of W over the interval from 20 to 25. And are asked to calculate the temperature at t equals 25. Again, we need to use the fundamental theorem of calculus. We'll write that w of 25 equals w at the last known value of 20 plus the integral from 20 to 25 of the derivative of w with respect to time. You know, I just realized that I left something out of Part C. I have to apologize. It wanted to know whether Part C was an underestimate or an overestimate. So let's, let's just think about this. Here the key is we're told that this function w of t is strictly increasing. And that means that as we sketch the rectangles using left Riemann sums to approximate the height, we are in every instance underestimating 
this strictly increasing function. Okay. So let's add that to our explanation because W of t is strictly increasing. This is an underestimate. Sorry for putting that in out of order, but that's the concluding part of part C. Let's come back to this. W of 25 is W at some known point, and our last known point is W of 20, plus the integral of W's derivative from 20 to 25. We can evaluate that numerically. And you'll see that to save some time in this video, I've already entered y1 as w prime of t and then done the calculation indicated using um, FN, uh, using the FNINT function on the TI-84 and I get a value of 73.0431. That's simply the temperature at T equals 25.